Okay. Can you see that? It's 5.34 in the morning. That means that we're about to head off to Cairns, my friends. And as you can see behind me, the, uh, the sun's just coming up. Unfortunately, we're not going to get out of here in complete darkness, but it's okay. At least it's not something like 8 o'clock in the morning. So I aimed for 4, I got up at 5 instead, and now we're leaving Alice Springs at 5.30. I've just filled up the car for the first time. That is one thing we're going to keep consistent on this trip is uh, every time I fill up the car, because there's going to be a fair few times, we're going to uh, count that as one. So I'm going to put a little one down in the corner. Every time we stop, it's going to go two, three, four, five, six. I think it's a little car. We probably get about 400, 450 k's out of a tank. It's about 300 miles. I would say we've actually got to think about it because there's only certain you know, stops that have fuel along these roads, you know, so if I've got half a tank left and I know I'm only going to get 200 k's out of it, but the next petrol station is 250 k's away, then I've got to turn around and go back, and that's happened a few times, but let's hope that doesn't happen this time. So, I would say seven times we're going to stop for fuel this trip, 1420 miles. I'm going to stop talking and get into it. I've got an audio book. I just told you I was about to stop talking, but I'm not going to. I've got an audio book I'm about to listen to. It's, a, it's an investing audio book, a property investing audio book, and it's exactly what I want to listen to right now. Something inspirational, something that is going to give me about four hours worth of entertainment, and uh, hopefully without even thinking about it. So in about four hours, we're going to be at our first destination, which is Tennant Creek, and then we're going to hang a right from there and head over to Queensland. And that is a road that I've never been on. I've only kept continuing going straight up to Darwin. I've never actually turned right and gone over to Queensland. So it's going to be a new road, but there's still not going to be much along it. And I'll see you there. All right, everybody. For anyone who watched my last travel vlog, you would have seen this exact sign. I don't know if you can see it, but it says Tea Tree Roadhouse, guys. Actually, you can see it here. Boom! Tea Tree Roadhouse, 180 k's down the road. The time, if we can find it, is... What does it say? <laughs> no, we can't. The car's not on. That'd be a good start. What's the time? What does that say? 7.21. 7.21, Tuesday the 22nd of January. And I am halfway through the Barefoot Investor audiobook. And it's going good. So I'll see you guys at Tennant Creek, which is at around about 500 k's. So I've got, I'd say, at least two and a half hours until we get there. And then I'll be filling up again, which will be stop number three. And we'll continue from there. Oh, oh, ow. Ah. All right, guys. Quick uh, piss stop. I'm not going to lie, but uh, I thought I had to do this. I had to do this at one point. Come and show you guys exactly what I am dealing with right now. Look at it! There's nothing! Oh! And there's no echo because there's no walls or anything around me. Look at it! Oh, it is pretty beautiful in its own way. Look at my car this shit it's so low it looks like I've taken the springs out of it and I took the hubcaps off as well so it looks uh, gangster <laughs> I got a gangster barina oh, oh. Eh, ah. anyways no time to lose as you know we've got a mammoth task ahead of us let's continue See those guys? They landed last night. Hello. All right guys, I just thought it was um, fitting for me to stop here. Just quickly, I'm getting a drink and uh, nothing much else. We're not getting any petrol, so that is not stop number three yet, but this is Whitecliffe Well. And uh, 
you know what, I'm going to get in the car and do a little search on exactly what Whitecliff Well is famous for, but it's something to do with aliens, I know that much. UFOs, aliens, apparently this, this area of the Northern Territory has had like the most UFO sightings in history or something like that. Let's check it out. Where is Wycliffe Well? Your phone has no signal, so I can't help you with that at the moment. That's not good enough. Your phone has no signal, so I can't help you with that at the moment. Fuck you. Your phone has no <laughs> signal, so I can't help you with that at the moment. <laughs> Alright, let's continue. Alright everybody, we're rolling into Tennant Creek, our first major town of the trip and our third petrol stop. It's uh, quarter past ten in the morning, I'm watching an interview on YouTube with Dennis Wolf, a legendary bodybuilder, and I'm feeling good. Tennant Creek is pretty much just one road that goes through the whole town, we're still on Stewart Highway. This highway goes for 3,000 kilometres, guys, between Adelaide at the bottom of Australia and Darwin at the top. And so just after passing through here, Tennant Creek, I will be making a right turn and heading right to Queensland, which I've never done before, so it'll be interesting. But first, petrol. Alright guys, I think it's about time we take the advice of the sign, take some free parking, and roll up a little smoke. What do you guys reckon? Roll up? Hashtag roll up? Well lucky for you guys, I had one prepared earlier. Now Tennant Creek's a, a funny one for me, you know, anytime I'm on this road, whenever I'm heading up to Darwin, Tennant Creek is like that first stop that's actually significant, you know what I mean? So that's where we are. Um, I still haven't eaten anything yet. It's, what is it? Oh, 25 past 10. We've done 550Ks. First 550Ks we've done in less than five hours. In a car like this, I guess that's pretty good. So from here, like I said, we're gonna turn right in, how many Ks? Let's, <laughs> last thing I wanna do, is go past the turn off. I've done things like that before. I'm not saying I do it all the time, but I certainly have. Directions to Cairns from my location. What does it say? <laughs> 21 hours and 24 minutes. Lovely. Okay guys, here we are. We're turning right onto Route 66 believe it or not so all of my American viewers would know all about Route 66 and uh, it seems that's taking us from Tennant Creek to, all the way to Mount Isa now I have been told that this road is a whole bunch of absolutely nothing but we're used to that aren't we guys so I think we can do it I'm listening to some Gary V that I've downloaded so hopefully I learned something that's all you can really hope for, honestly. Travelling by yourself, these long drives, they, they don't... Oh look, there we go, 646 k's. Awesome. I've, I've nearly done that already, so I'm about halfway there. And it's only 10.42. I might continue driving and get, get uh, a bit further, possibly. But we'll have to see. 640 k's, that's nothing. It's like four hours. No, it's not. Probably going to take six hours. I will see you at our next petrol stop, which will be our fourth. Okay. And I have to be very strategic because obviously this tank is only going to get me about 450 k's and I've got to get 660 down the road. And I don't even know if you guys can hear me right now. I can hear myself. Oh my god. Take off my headphones. The road noise in this car is unbelievable. So it's essential to have some some big headphones actually so anyways I'm gonna shut the camera off and concentrate bye alright guys we just pulled up at a place called Barclay Homestead and I had been recommended this by a work colleague actually 
to get a pie. So there's not much around. There's a, a roadhouse and a, a road train, as you can see, and some fuel. So I'm going to fill up. We're about got about half a tank. I'm going to fill up. I've got 450 kilometers to go. So uh, I think I'm going to be able to get there on one tank, which is good. And I've gone around the wrong way, which is fine. And now I need to change gears. <laughs> We're getting there, guys. We fucking get in there. It's uh. It's definitely seeming a lot less daunting right now than it did this morning. Um, yeah, we're 450 k's away from my first destination, my first night. So it's not long at all. Time to get some petrol. All right. I was recommended, actually quite a nice place in there to be honest, Barclay Homestead. If anyone's coming through the Barclay Desert, on the way from Queensland to Northern Territory. <coughs> I'm gonna have to watch the replay. See if a fly just went into my mouth and out, and out again. I thought I just swallowed a fly. Anyways, guys. First bite. mouth is dry. It's a good pie, it's just that a hot pie on a, okay so it's about 30, about 37 degrees, which is pretty standard, but uh, you know Alice Springs has been like from 40 to 45 degrees Celsius every single day for the past six weeks. So I'm hoping when I do get to Cairns we're gonna at least have some rain which I know we will because it's tropical, but you know just that, that peak temperature of the day is going to be slightly lower which would be nice but uh, I am bloody hungry I haven't eaten anything today yet like I said guys nice little place in there it's pretty flash and actually to be honest even the gardens and stuff around here is quite nice are we in the Northern Territory I actually don't No, we are still in the Territory yeah I saw a sign before it said 250 k's to the Queensland border and 450 k's to Mount Isa. So we've got a full tank of gas. I'm going to take it easy, about 130 k's an hour. Uh, and we're going to roll up another joint before I do. <laughs> so I'll see you guys at the next stop. <laughs> Have a look. Have a look at this. Apparently I'm 40 k's away from the Queensland border. Look, <laughs> look around. There is literally nothing. It is so flat and so barren, I just had to pull over to show you guys because uh, it's, you know, if I, if I didn't have so much energy right now, it would be dangerous. Oh, and fuck, the road is so hot. <sighs> It's got to be 40 degrees. I'm pull, I've pulled over to give the uh, the car a little rest because I feel like it's uh, it's <laughs> probably needs it to be honest. And with that said, it's about time we continue. Oh right, everybody! What does that say? Camu Wheel Roadhouse. Here we are for petrol stop number five. Seriously, guys. <laughs> Every time I pull in somewhere, every time I pull in somewhere, I'm so embarrassed. Look at this car. I, like, it's completely illegal. If a cop pulled me up, he'd be like, nah, you're not driving that. Like, I, I am, I am completely surrounded by, by shit. And apparently it's shit I needed. In a, in a previous video I said, I got, I sold almost everything I owned. Well, apparently not, because I still fill a 2009 Holden Barina with all of my shit. Like you saw me do yesterday. But anyways, fifth petrol stop. We've got 200 k's to go until we get to Mount Isa. It is 2.42. I don't know about you guys, but I'm actually feeling relatively good. And we're in Queensland. That's new. All right guys, I tell a lie. We're about to head off. I don't know if you can see over that wall of uh, stuff there, but Camel Wheel, established 1884. We have 188 kilometers 
to go. We have Camerwell Supermarket, fresh goods daily. Would you believe? Would you believe? Water tower. Is it? Man, if I was a kid, I would have loved climbing up there. Alright everybody. We're here. We made it. I'm in my hotel suite. My Mount Isa hotel suite. Which, I've got to be honest, I went on uh, booking.com and I read the reviews for once. I read that this place was clean, the, fr uh, the, the staff were friendly, and it was uh, big, big rooms for what you get, and it is. It's an awesome size lounge, we've got a sick flat screen, we've got a couch to lay out on tonight, we've got a full kitchen, well not a full kitchen, but most, most of one. Big bedroom. Not sure about the bathroom. What do we got? Yeah, standard. Definitely good enough. Good enough for me. Uh, when, you're, when you're traveling through the Northern Territory, you're staying at all these, well actually I don't really stay at them, I just drive through them, but tonight we're staying at one. So Mount Isa is, you know, it's got about 140,000 people, which is surprising. I think that's the Mount Isa sort of area, but as far as Mount Isa city, um, you know, it'd be a fair, a fair bit less, I think. But they do have everything. I, I, I saw a Harvey Norman. Um, <laughs> they've got, you know, obviously KFC, um, McDonald's, all that stuff. But I am going to go down to the pub down the road and get a pub meal tonight. I got recommended that by the lady here, which is very nice. That was another thing that I saw on the reviews was that it was very spacious, it was clean, which it is, and the staff were nice. So. So far, so good. So far, so good. That's all I can say. So at the moment I've got two options. Two. Two options. I can uh, wake up in the morning really early and drive all the way from uh, Mount Isa to Cairns, which is probably going to take probably at least 13 hours. So if I left at six I could get there at like seven or eight in the evening but I don't think I'm gonna leave that early I think I'm gonna leave it like eight in the morning and then it's a thousand kilometers to get from here to Townsville so uh, if I want to stay another night before I go to Cairns I can stay in Townsville that's on the coast so I'm gonna see some water for the first time in months and uh, yeah just thinking about it honestly then in the in the car over here you know whilst I'm driving for these hours and hours on the end I'm just thinking about Tate, man. I'm thinking about seeing my daughter. I'm thinking about, you know, the, the new experiences I'm going to be able to have in Cairns, the new people, the new gym I'm going to train at, you know, it's the new facilities, new sports. Fuck, it's, it's, uh, it's exciting. I wish I could get there tonight, but I can't. So anyways, I might check in with you later, but I, I don't really feel like there's any point. Um, you guys know what I'm up to. It's still daylight, it's about 5.30 at night. So that means we've, we've been driving for about 12 hours today. So it's a solid day of driving, and we've got another solid day tomorrow. So, we got our pub meal. Not too bad, not too good, and not too big. So you know what, I need something else. And I saw earlier in this little Welcome to Mount Isa book, you know, the, the usual information books that they have in hotel rooms, I saw a Chinese restaurant and another one and a Japanese restaurant and another one. So we've got four choices for some delivery food. That's exactly what we're going to get. Crispy skin chicken. I love crispy skin chicken. Honey chicken, absolutely delicious. Satay chicken. Satay beef. Dim Sim Spring Rolls, Barbecue Pork Teriyaki Beef. Sweet, um, can I get uh, crispy skin chicken and honey chicken Di dishes? Some sort of rice, uh, fried rice I suppose. 50 bucks? <laughs> Fuck! $50 on Chinese! Oh man. Oh well. You know what we're going to do? Until that gets here I'm going to set my laptop up, which is right there, no it's not, it's right there, and we're going to do some editing, and hopefully get this one edited, <clears throat> and put up for you guys, okay? Next minute.
Okay, so now I will see you in the morning for the next vlog. I'm not sure what we're going to do. We're going to be doing driving. Um, hopefully I'm going to make it interesting. Hopefully this one was interesting enough. I'm going to freaking have a massive feast right now. I cannot wait. And I'll see you in the morning. Peace out, everybody.